It's just beautiful. Look how much snow there still is piled up. I know. The other team to hire a car, Tricia and Cathy, have made their dollars count, reaching Jade City with a population of around 30 people, a city in name only, known for its huge jade deposits. Outside the town on the shores of Vines Lake, Christie's Cabin in the Woods. What an amazing place you've wow. got here. Wow, it is stunning. The girls have answered an ad in the jobs directory, free bed and board in exchange for some elbow grease. Okay, so this is the old dilapidated shack that I want to dismantle. Great. We decided not to camp because bears aren't on the happy list. And the tent was going to cost about $200 anyway. We would rather put the money into a vehicle to get us up here. We need to get this side and that side off and then the roof should come off. Hang on, Trish. Tr hold on. If you just bear with me a minute while I get yep. this bit off. Obviously, yeah. we're blasting the budget this week. Helping Christy today, it means that we don't have to pay for accommodation tonight. Or food. Or food, so that's a huge help to our budget. You're doing neat destruction, you are. Well, I am neat. Marvellous. This is quite satisfying, actually. It is actually, isn't it? I absolutely love doing this kind of stuff. And I don't get to do it very often because everybody panics that I'm going to hurt myself. OK. Mine the nails. The nails. Yeah, mine the nails. If I spend all day in a windowless office staring at a large computer screen, managing rotors, managing time off, doing the finance. So working yeah. outside is absolute bliss. Hooray! Good work. Back home in Bridge End, South Wales, Cathy runs two community pharmacies with her husband, Gareth, employing 17 staff. The past couple of years, have been emotionally draining. The responsibility to make sure that the staff were safe, customers and patients were safe, weighed very, very heavily on us. I've got to take a photograph. It's just too beautiful. Coming away on this break, I'm, I'm calling it a break, look, I'm not even calling it a race, I'm calling it a break. It's the perfect antidote, really. There's not a sound. It's silent, absolutely silent. Initially, my motivation for doing this was to support Trisha. But as time's gone on, it's giving me an opportunity to do something just for me. It's allowing me some selfish time and it's, it feels good. <laughs> it's not something I'm used to. It's just perfect. 